going to college. Give me your money. Yeah, college tuition. <laughs> Trouble Busters! My name is Alan. I'm 48 years old. I'm just a regular employee, so my wife and second daughter Hazel say that I need to take care of the chores around the house. My eldest daughter, who lives alone for college, is the complete opposite. Then, one day... All my friends have fancy brands. Yeah, you can't even buy that. Men are supposed to be making more money. <sighs> How does this happen? But you should fix your attitude. Huh? What's wrong with her attitude? She's smart and beautiful. She's the world's most amazing princess. Uh, here we go again. I shouldn't have said anything. It's ready! Let's eat up! The pasta tonight is special! I'm starving! Huh? Pasta again? How do you expect us to not get tired of pasta? Today's pasta is different. Try it. I can't eat this crap. That's a little rude, don't you think? I'm not like you. Don't make my expensive, classy taste palette out to be like yours. I made it for you. Come on. When did she start talking like this? I work hard too, you know. Don't say things like that. I feel so bad for you not understanding even after I say this to your face. Of course he wouldn't understand. It's his destiny from the second he was born. You can't change destiny, hence why it's destiny. Exactly, this isn't going to cut it. Huh? How about you watch YouTube and improve or something, huh? What? Fine. Honestly, it's better if I just cook it. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Then how about you cook? My second eldest daughter, Michelle, started living on her own for college. My wife and Hazel started being tough around me, and I remember what Michelle told me the other day. I don't know why I'm always being told this kind of crap. I was starting to move past sadness and into the realm of anger. Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm gonna take my own lunch tomorrow. I'm kind of a pansy and felt like I wasn't good enough, so I couldn't say anything back. That's why I had overcome my lack of cooking skills and worked hard, but I can't let this slide. I'm never going to forgive them. Trouble Buster! Then, Michelle said she would be coming back home to visit for the first time in a while. I thought that things would change around the house, but things weren't that simple. Look at you two cooking together. I come home for the first time in a while and this is what happens? You don't need to be like that. I'm making dinner for you, so just be happy that I'm cooking it all. I'm just saying facts. How about you shut up? Michelle, can you get the sauce from the fridge? The sauce coming up. Are you guys listening? And I continue to do the laundry as usual, when suddenly... I'm going to college, so give me money. <laughs> huh? M Mom? This guy is broken. What's going on, Hazel? <laughs> I said give me money and... <laughs> what are you laughing about? Enough, it's not that funny. How about you go work part-time, huh? You think you can just keep being spoiled by your parents? You're not gonna grow up to be a good adult. Just so you know, this has nothing to do with being an adult or not. It's your responsibility as a parent. Yeah, you gotta pay for everything until she graduates college. You send money to sis too, that's not fair. I got into college on scholarships because I studied hard. I haven't been bothering my parents at all. Oh, well, that's just dumb luck. You're smart. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Let's move on. Whatever. You've got to work hard. That's it. Oh, I see. You're trying to run away because you don't have money. I'm not running. I just... I shouldn't have been married to this guy for this long. Yeah, just get a divorce, Mom. Huh? How dare you say that to Dad? It's the truth. Don't act like you're so cool. How come I didn't think of that sooner? You gotta strike while the iron's hot, Mom. I mean, yeah. What the hell? The TV won't turn on. Huh? It really won't. What's going on? Why? The washing machine isn't here either. What the hell? Oh, what is this? I never heard of a thief that steals the washing machine and TV. I'm sure it was that man. He probably didn't have the money, so he's been stealing things. I told you. I'm going to steal it back. Just you what? I finally found you. What the hell? You can't just come inside without permission. Why are you living here? I thought you were a miserable dad and daughter in a broken up apartment. What is this mansion? I didn't hear about that. This is so cheap. It's more amazing than our house. You guys told me to get out. I didn't realize that you'd live in a place like this. Does it really matter where I live? I'm free to live as I like. It definitely does matter. Huh? This TV, it's not... Maybe he sold it. 
You little, I'm gonna sue you. Sue me? What's going on? This is my TV. Huh? Then we just need to live here. There's a TV and washing machine and everything. That's a great idea. What a lovely daughter. You're so smart, dear. What are you talking about? Enough! Don't be stupid and just leave. This place has an auto-locking door. How did you get in? You two get out. We're living here from now on. Yeah, you two go back to the house. I can't believe you lived in such comfort like this. It was at that moment that Michelle just exploded. You guys, enough. I can only put up with so much shit before I'm over it. Oh, what? Shut up, backstabber. Who do you think you're talking to, you little brat? You better watch who you're talking to. I know all about you, Mom. Everything bad you've done. I've researched it all, so... Huh? You finally lost your mind. She's always been insane. I thought things were always clear. I just never understood. But now, it's as clear as day. Huh? Dad let her daughters go to private school and built a home. He's making decent money. But you kept saying that he didn't make any money. Someone who doesn't make money doesn't finish paying off their house. Huh? The housing loan? We're still paying for it, right? Ooh, what are you talking about? Of course. It's being withdrawn this whole time. That's why we're always struggling for money. You think so? I heard everything that you said, Mom. What the hell? What do you think you heard? You were giving advice to your friends. If you just keep saying that you haven't finished paying off the loans, be able to enjoy the money that he thinks is being taken out of the loan. Huh? So I've just been giving you money you didn't need? I'm just an ATM. What the hell? That he thinks is being taken out for the loan. You, how dare you do that? That's unacceptable, and it's a scam. Enough, I didn't know such thing. Or what, do you have some kind of proof? Then what is this? This isn't for the loan. You said that it was being withdrawn a second ago. Uh, this isn't our checking account. Yeah. I'm gonna see if the loan is paid off or not. I'll find out immediately. You don't have to do that. Why don't you believe me? Because you lied about something so obvious, and I'm not going to forgive you. If you don't want to tell him, I don't care. Mom, what's going on? Be honest. That's not... No. It's not. I just took out loans because I couldn't survive. Couldn't survive? There's no way that's true. How much of a lavish lifestyle do you live? Lavish? No way. I was spending all my money on you all, so I had to. Oh, okay. Then here's my next piece of evidence. What is this? What? Why? What are you doing, Mom? This has to be some kind of mistake, right? Yeah, this has to be a Photoshop. You're such a liar. I've got video proof, too. What the hell? Mom, what's going on? Dad's working hard, and she's over here getting discount rates for male hosts. What the hell? You saw the video. Apparently, some of the housewives that like some male attention like that club. Mom is just one of those wives that go every week. No way! Mom is drowning in men! That's so horrible! I should have chosen someone else. I chose the wrong side. This is totally proof of an affair! You bitch! Ugh! That's not... That's just something I did because everyone was doing it. What?! You were the one spending all of Dad's money fooling around. That's just a fact. I can't believe that she was spending that money on an affair, too. I was fooled. Completely. That's just means that dad was actually earning money. Huh? I didn't know that. I thought he was always just poor. Think about it. You should know if you just used two brain cells available to you. I'm never going to forgive you. I'm never going to forgive you, Mom. Michelle, you shut up. I'm the one that has raised you for this long. I'm just stating facts. Don't get mad at me. W wait, did you come over to investigate about this? Is that true, Michelle? Yeah, I couldn't figure out what was going on, so I wanted to investigate. I couldn't forgive her. Ah, this is the worst. How can my mom be having an affair? Apologize to him. Th that's... I couldn't help it. It's his fault. What are you talking about? I'm telling you to apologize. No one in the world would ever spend time with this loser anyway. What are you talking about, Mom? You don't understand what you've done? You are so not used to apologizing. I'm not gonna forgive you even if you do apologize, so do what you want. What are you... what are you saying? You had an affair. You're gonna take responsibility. It's betrayal! Huh? Are you talking about damages? Yeah, you're gonna pay for them. It's a man, too. Wait, hang on. I don't have that kind of money. What are you talking about? If you don't have money, you don't have to pay? Yeah, you're an adult. You better take responsibility. 
I don't know what to tell you, but I can't pay, and I'm not the one who seduced him. You're such a disgusting woman. You can't change the fact that you had an affair. Hang on, that's right. We're already divorced, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> you almost got me. It does matter, though. We're complete strangers, though. It's got nothing to do with you. Sorry if the affair was the reason we broke up, then maybe so. You were having an affair before we got a divorce, which means adultery. I can sue you for adultery. You don't know that? Huh? Just because you divorced doesn't mean that you can't just ignore that you had an affair. You still need to take responsibility. But, 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 but I don't have the money. And it's been so long since we've divorced, you can't possibly. Wrong. You've got to wait about three years before the crime is no longer punishable. No problems here. Th th three years? There's two more years? Unfortunately, you still have to figure out a way to pay even if you don't have the money. But I don't have the money. You're going to sue me for money when I don't have money. That's blackmail. Shut your face. This is a legal issue. I'm going to talk to a lawyer and have you pay for your crimes. Or do you want to go to court? Are you suggesting to take her to... The hell? That's right, you betrayed Dad and you were horrible. You better be ready to pay. What are you talking about, Hazel? You're going to abandon me? Of course I am. I can't believe a mama would have an affair. You little backstabber. You're the one that's backstabbing. You can't call me a backstabber. I'm not going to be your ally this whole time. Shut up, shut up, shut up. We're already divorced. Stop your whining. You shut up and listen to me. You're only going to be able to be coming off that strong now. What? What is it with you all? Just be blunt. You have no place left to go home. Unfortunately, the house has been sold. What? What are you talking about? That house is mine. I'm not going to let you do what you want. I can do what I want. That land used to be my father's land. He passed before we were married, so you have no right to any of it. Huh? The wealth that I have before we got married means that it's my personal wealth. It's not part of our shared wealth. That means it's my personal asset. But, but, but where are we supposed to live? What about money to live? I don't know. Figure it out on your own. Borrow a room or something. Beg your parents. You can't do that. You keep living so prideful, you're gonna get hurt. It's not pride. Both your parents are so kind. They're family. They'll understand. She can't. They've cut ties with her. Huh? Mom's been going to get money from Grandpa and Grandma every month. Huh, you're kidding. Field trips, summer schooling, she's been asking them for money at every turn. You paid for all of it, so there shouldn't have been any problems, but... She used it all on her own? All their money? Yeah, she weaseled money out of everyone she could. Hang on, what are you talking about? You got money from me and Grandpa for the field trips. It was 2000 for the whole trip, so the total was 4000 since you got it from both of us. You just got $2,000 doing nothing? That's right, and she said that the summer school cost about $3,000. What? I didn't even go to a summer school. She said that we didn't have the money, so she didn't let me. So she got $6,000 for free? That's why she was always complaining about how Dad didn't have any money. How much was the summer schooling, Hazel? They didn't even charge $1,000. And she's been doing it from when I still was in grade school, so it's been quite a bit of money. Grandpa and Grandma both were crying because they have no savings left. What a horrible woman. The money that she stole has been going straight to that man's pocket, too. Hey, hey, hey! How dare you take money from your parents when they raised you! What the hell? You said I can't go because we don't have the money, but you clearly got money. Where's all that money? She spent all that money on those boy toys. Your lovely Steven, right? Stop! This is a fact, too. You did it right in front of me without ever noticing. I thought I was going to vomit. Enough! You were always the one that had all the fun. That's why you were always just running around, fooling around without working. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! Parents, husbands, what's wrong with getting money from them? What a selfish woman. I'm sorry for you, but everything is out in the open now, and you're never going to recover. It's all your fault. Why did you screw with my life like that? Enough! Get out! You two, get out! No, please, Dad, I can't live with Mom. You think that I'm going to live with you after you mocked me for over ten years? You have any idea how miserable I was? I'm sorry, I apologize, so please, I can't do anything about it. You can restart is what you can do. No! The two of them had no work, so they ended up working in a restaurant as janitors and tried to pay off debt. They were able to barely make enough to pay off their interests, so they can't go anywhere. A 
beautiful woman appeared out of nowhere and I started dating her. She's kind to Michelle and we get along great. You never know what's gonna happen. Trouble Buster!